Hey friends, uh, Star Scorecard, Cheat Code 5.10a, this is video number two. Video number two. Uh, asterisk, because it's important. Okay, I'm gonna get asked probably one or two questions on the star test. The key with this cheat, with this cheat code is, can you define the different types of taxes? Okay, there are four types of taxes. Income, payroll, sales, and property. Not everybody pays every tax. Okay, so the questions are really going to ask you, do you know what your taxes are? Quick review. Income tax comes out of your paycheck. Everybody who receives a paycheck pays income tax. Income tax helps, helps provide for Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. It's, it's, a, it's a really cool, like, income tax. Good. Everybody who receives a check from working pays income tax. Everyone. Payroll tax is only the employer. Only the boss or the owner of the business, owner of the institution, is paying payroll tax. Okay, um, The owner has to pay a tax to the government on top of what they pay their employees. Sales tax, when you buy your computer, when you buy your car, when you buy your phone or your new purse or your, uh, the, you know, your sports equipment. Anytime you buy a thing, you pay sales tax. Okay, Sales tax, yep, yeah, when you buy things. Property tax is for the homeowner. Okay, If you own a home, if you own land, you pay property tax to the government. And remember, all taxes go to the government. Number two, at the Townview Stuff Mart, 8.25% is added to each customer's purchase. Customer, when they buy things. At the Rosenberg Stuff Mart, 8.75% is added to the purchases. Okay? It did just... So we're playing 8.25, 8.75%. Okay, what can be inferred from this? Rosenberg has a higher sales tax, income tax, property tax. The stuff Martin Rosenberg makes more money. Uh, let's just, it's, it's asking you about taxes, okay? This question is saying, do you know what kind of taxes you have to pay? Customers pay sales tax, okay? Sales tax when you buy things. That stuff, Mart. When you buy stuff, you have to pay a sales tax. Number three. Okay. Mallory listed all of the taxes she has to pay. Mallory has a lot of taxes. She pays income tax. Pay, she's a boss. She's an owner of a business. She pays sales tax and property tax. She pays all four. Okay. Which term best describes the taxes she would pay on her home? So she pays all four types of taxes. Home, that's where she lives. Now her home is on a piece of property. It might be small in a city, and it might be um, a big in the country. Who knows? But your home is property tax. There you go. Number four. Sherry bought a new television for $980 plus tax. Thing, that's a thing, and there's plus tax. Which type of tax would she have paid on her purchase? Sales tax. She bought a thing. Okay, the start test, I've noticed, likes to ask about electronics, computers, TVs. Um, sometimes it asks about cars, like you have to pay sales tax on a car. Um, but anytime you're buying a thing, you pay sales tax. Okay? Sales tax for a new television. I hope that it was an 80-inch television. <laughs> Miss Parvin pays tax every year because she owns a house. Look at this. How frequently are they asking about house or home? Which term best describes tax? This type of tax. Property tax. Property tax. Because it's a home. Okay, last question. A definition of a financial term is shown below in the box. Shown in the box below. A tax on retail products. Retail is like when you go to the mall, okay? Retail is clothing and is things, okay? Equals mall. So whenever you go to the mall, that's retail. A tax on retail products based on a set percentage of retail costs. Which term best fits this definition? This is kind of tricky, okay? It, it, not for... Not for somebody who knows taxes, but for a fifth grader who hasn't learned their definitions, this is tricky. You have to learn your definitions. 
Retail is a vocabulary word that's not even listed. Retail is the mall. That's where you buy things. And when you buy things, you have to pay sales tax. Okay? So, guys, I hope this video helped. Hope it makes sense. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.